This video is going to focus on measuring to the nearest half inch. But before we start that, I want to review measuring to the nearest inch. So you did that in second grade. You would take um, an item, and I've got just some candy from around my house, so you can take anything from around your house to practice this. And this is a ruler, and you've worked with this before. Now, one thing to keep in mind about the ruler, really pay attention. You see how I have some space here? I don't want to start measuring at the end of the ruler. I have to start where that line is. So make sure you look at your ruler and determine if you have to start at the end or if you start where the line starts. So I'm going to put my candy down and I'm going to make sure it starts there. And you can see that it's between two inches and three inches. But remember in second grade, you just went to the nearest half, uh, sorry, to the nearest whole inch. So I can see that it's closer to three than it is to two. So I would say that this is three inches, okay? But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a little more precise and we're gonna go to the nearest half of an inch. So to start off, just to make it simpler, because you can see I have a lot of lines in between here. What I did is I took an index card and I kind of marked off where the one inches uh, were. And so if I come back and I look here, this time, because I started it at the end of the paper, I'm going to actually line it up at the end. And I can see that it, this would be one inch, two inches, three inches. And I can see it once again, it falls between two and three inches. And I can see that it's closer to three inches. It looks like it's a little bit closer than it is to the two inches. So I'd say two inches. What I did next, is I took that index card and I really put um, the halfway marks. So I took my ruler, once again, I started here on the end there, let that space, and you can see the longest line in between each inch is your halfway point. Now you've worked with fractions earlier this year, so you know on a number line what a half and how to take a number line and break it into equal halves. And so that's kind of what I've done here. And so um, you can see that I've marked that there. So I'm gonna use this first and then we'll use the ruler. So I'm going to once again line this up and I can see, I'm gonna start at the end here because I don't have any space and I can see that um, this would be my one inch, my two inch and my three inches here. One, two, three. But then I can also see that um, this would be one half, this would be two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves and six halves. Okay, and you've done that earlier in the year as well. So um, you can see now that I am between two and three, like we said earlier, and you can even see that at the halfway point, I'm kind of between five halves and six halves. And so when I look, it's kind of in the middle between there, so then I would still say that it's three inches. And so even if I'm rounding to the nearest half of an inch, I can still um, say that it's three whole inches because two halves make a whole. Um, so if I wanted to say that if I want, just wanted to count by my six halves, one way I could think of that is that I know that that is made up of one set of two halves, a second set of two halves, and a third set of two halves. Because if we look here, from zero to one is two halves. From one to two would be another two halves, one half, two half, and then one halves, two halves. So you can see that I get that out, which gives me three holes or three inches in this case. Now, if I take an object and I put it on here, like the crackers here, I can see that, um, I'm gonna extend my number line here to four and that would be five. And then I can see that this would then be seven halves, eight halves, nine halves, 10 halves. And I can see that it goes to seven halves which is um, halfway between three and four, which would be three and one half. And the way I know that is because if I take seven halves, and once again, I think of that as two halves, another set of two halves, a third set of two halves, and then I know that I have one half left over. These are my holes, so that would be three and one half inches, okay? So um, when you start begin to work with your ruler, it might be helpful to first start off with something where it only shows the halves and then begin um, moving into having um, a real ruler where you have to really focus in. And remember, you're focusing on, on the holes and then the halfway mark. So you can see that that stops right at three and a half. And then when we did the Twix, we could see that it's kind of between two and a half and three, but closer to three, so I would say that's three inches.